Hey guys, <clears throat> excuse me. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. We're in for a thrift haul today. I This webcam is so strange. It gets started quicker than I expect it to. So I didn't get to adjust the frame a little bit. I'm going to pull it back down a little bit so that you can see everything I brought you today. I have a pretty big haul, not really big, but it's been here a while and I have to get rid of it as far as putting it away. So I thought I would bring it to you today. And um, what else was I going to say? Oh, I haven't done a, thr a thrift haul in a while, but this is some of the things that we do here in this channel. We not only bring you jewelry constantly, unjarrings, unbaggings, hauls of beautiful jewelry, but we also love to just thrift. This is what I've always done. I started doing a lot of jewelry because people started requesting that I do jewelry. And they started telling me that they really liked the jewelry that I brought and they liked it when I showed jewelry in my hauls. So I started doing that separately. So I hope you'll take the time today, guys, to subscribe. Again, this is a content all about thrifting, all about reselling, all about jewelry, all about handbags, and any of the wonderful things that we tend to gravitate towards. That's what I like to bring you. That's what I like to show you. Let me adjust my frame just a tad so I can show you some of the beautiful kimonos that I got. I think that's a little bit better. Yeah. Okay. I got this fabulous kimono, guys, and I do really, really well with kimonos. And uh, this is more like, I don't know if it's a gentleman's smoking jacket or something, but I really, really like it. It's got, it's got an interesting tie right here at the top. It's quilted. It's got a beautiful, I don't know what they call, those of you who quilt can tell me what they call this kind of stitching, where it's kind of like puzzle pieces and just really scraggly and beautiful. And then it's got beautiful motifs of um, kind of... I was going to say dragons, but they're not really dragons. They're kind of medallions. I'll let you take a good look at it. They're kind of medallions and other symbols. And they're just so, so pretty. It is lined. And uh, one day I went into the Goodwill. They just had a whole lot of a whole lot of Asian items. It's got pockets there. I love it for a jacket. This would look so cool with just some some skinny jeans, maybe some black skinny jeans, a white t-shirt, something maybe in the in the early spring when it's kind of chill. I think it would look so, so cool. But I do sell them quite a bit on Etsy. I've had the really elaborate kimonos with the cutouts and the huge sleeves. But I guess this is more like a little smoking jacket or something. I got this for, I believe, $2. There's really nothing wrong with it other than it's pretty vintage and it's got maybe some lining, some threadbare areas in the lining. But isn't it fabulous, guys? And they did have some children's outfits, so like the pajamas and just all kinds of beautiful things. You could tell someone was a collector and just decided to finally, uh, finally share and <laughs> give it to the Goodwill. Again, I, there are some buttons too. It is snap button here in the front. As you can see. Thank you again, guys, for joining me. I will say hello to a few people. And then we'll go on to some other things. But, oh, my gosh, isn't it gorgeous? And that wonderful color. It's kind of a, oh, my gosh, kind of a, not a Kelly green, but a forest green, I guess. Really a deeper, a deeper green. I just love it. I think it's gorgeous. Let me see who popped in. I'm glad some of you guys are home. I don't go to the thrift stores too much on Saturday. I used to avoid it because it was so crowded. It was a senior citizen day. And just everybody goes on Saturday. So now they cut off the senior citizen day. That's only on Wednesday. So I may start going again. I don't know. But I just kind of take advantage of my day off. I sleep in. Boy, these glasses are smudged. All right, we have Bougie Bear in. How are you, Miss April? We have Lucia. How are you, Lucia? Rebecca Miller, Gail A, Leslie Bull, Jennifer Hayes. Let me see who's at the top. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Amanda Parrott's here as well. Sanja Smith, Stephanie, Durden, Amir. Thank you guys. I really appreciate it. I hope you took the time to subscribe if you haven't done so. And again, oh, hey, Swamp Picker, how are you? Out picking today? That's another really good content maker out there, guys. He brings a lot of wonderful hauls. All right, I got something crazy, but I'm always thinking, God, 
I have a cat here in my lips. I'm always thinking about things that I can upcycle. I used to sell a lot of things upcycled over at over at Etsy. So I would make um, bags, like I would get the little satin bags, and I used a lot of stamp work. I have tons and tons of rubber stamps. I love them, and uh, upcycle them that way. I've got you know different motifs. I love like the the Virgen de San Juan, the you know the Blessed Mother, that kind of thing and uh, jewel it up and stuff. But I found this hat and right away I was thinking, and it's brand new with tag at CNN. And right away I was thinking I was gonna graffiti it. And you guys can help me with what I should put on it. Depends on what side of the aisle you sit on, right? But I just could not resist it. And it was very cheap because normally they sell their, their caps for like five, six dollars, sometimes even 10. And for it to be brand new, so I've got this one for less than three dollars, brand new CNN cap, and uh, yeah, I just thought I would do something really crazy for on it. Maybe put it on Etsy as well as eBay, and just do something fun. It's got a globe on it. I don't know if you can see it with the lights, but it does have the globe. It's really richly embroidered. So yeah, <laughs> cable news network. Yeah, but you know they've gotten a lot of flack lately with their fake news, and you know it's just. I don't even watch the news anymore, guys. That's that's lets you know how I feel about it, right? I do not even watch them at all. They just they raise my blood pressure. All news. I think I watch. I listen to a little bit of the radio around noon, so I can just get. Like I didn't even know about the horrible tragedy last night that came up on on my feed here on YouTube because I just don't even watch them. They really, you know, it's either blatantly this side or blatantly this side. There's just no more true reporting so that's why i could not resist that and i got that and i'm going to definitely upcycle it somehow all right then i got another beautiful starbucks mug i can't resist the starbucks i mean sometimes i let go of the ones that are just playing with the pretty lady on it the little mermaid but i can't resist the christmas or the special ones so this one was a dollar 99 but i got it for like a dollar 25 and they're pretty cheap there at the Goodwill. They really have been reasonable. So I've been picking them up. Very good condition. It's Christmas. It's got some red ornaments on there. Hi, how are you, Rebecca? I'm so glad you're here. Put that shirt up on eBay. What shirt? What shirt? The, the, the Chinese kimono? Whatever. That's a, a robe. I'm not sure what shirt you're talking about. But anyway, I got that one. I can't resist the, the Starbucks. I do love them. Guys, I'm trying to clean up this room. It's a total mess. I put everything out of my room into this room, and there's still a couple of remnants in here. Here's another gorgeous Starbucks. I love, love, love the color. This one was only 50 cents because it was Mark 79. So it's about 50 cents. And I just love the color. I love orange. As you can tell, I have orange nail polish. The one you're wearing, oh. This one, it's not a shirt, it's a, it's like a little uh, dress. You know, I had this up in my garage, guys, you're not gonna believe this, but I'll tell you another story. I had this in my garage and my husband has about two motorcycles in there right now. So that's another reason why I'm clearing out my clothes. And I cleared out my closet. I have probably this wide of hangers that have been gone. I just pulled things out, didn't even list, just pulled them out, put them in bags, took them to the Goodwill. Because I'm tired of going to my closet and I just have this barrage of clothing that is either not the one I want to wear that day, has gotten too tight, too big, too uh, short, whatever. It's you know a little stain or a snag, or, and I don't like little stains and snags. I don't wear clothing like that. So just so many things that I'm just tired of. So I grab them and I pull them out and that, and I said, you know, I'm going to start being more deliberate in what I wear, and. I thought, you know what, I have a closet full, basically a store full in my garage, and that's why I went and picked up this little dress, and it's an umji dress, and I thought first it kind of looked like a pajama, and it does, but I accessorized it with tons of jewelry, and I just made it my own today, and it was brand new with tags, so I was going to put it up on eBay, but I changed my mind, took the tag right off of it, and uh, put it on, and it's so comfortable, we're going to the bed today, I'll probably sit around for a while, so that's what we are up to today. All right, back to my beautiful Starbucks mug. Isn't it gorgeous? And then I got a butterfly in my hair. Vanessa, I'll let you see it. Can you see my little thingy? I don't know how my hair is staying up today, but this is one of those leather things like from the 60s and 70s, right? But my daughter works at the Renaissance every year, 
and they have the most beautiful leather work there. So every time I go, I pick one up. I have another one with some Celtic knots on it, and I just love them. And then I lose the sticks all the time, but this is a chopstick, and it's made out of metal. And I had my husband cut it and then sharpen the point, and then I painted it with some nail polish, and that's what's in there now. <laughs> I'm always losing the sticks. All right, another beautiful Starbucks. Guys, this is for Valentine's, and it's pink. It sold a beautiful pink mug. I don't know if you guys ever saw the one I had that said, um, what's the one that says don't fear or something like that. Like, I don't know. But anyway, it said pray, pray hard on it or something. And I sold it for a good big price on Amazon. And it was for a cancer patient. The lady wrote me back and told me she really was happy that I, that I expedited the shipping because she wanted to take it to her friend in the hospital who was battling breast cancer. So sometimes these mugs, guys, you just don't even know why people love them, but they do, and they really do sell. See, this one has really pretty little hearts, almost like flowers, all around it, and then it just says Starbucks there. Let me see. Let me see what else we have. Oh, I bought some. Milk glass, you know I love my milk glass for my bangles. I put, I stack my bangles in there. This one was only 99 cents. I especially love this one. It has kind of a deco look to it. Some of them are kind of plain. I like the hobnail ones too, but I, I almost always get them if they're a little vase or anything really. I like the big ones too. Um, I like this for my notions in the bathroom. I have them all stacked up. I have about 10 of these. And instead of just having all my creams and all of that where I have to go look for it or in a basket, I put them in there. I also found this one really uh, not too long ago. I may have showed it to you. I love this one. It's also milk glass. And this one I have some fancy soap in there. I just like to, I don't even use this soap actually. I just put it in there because it smells so good. Isn't that one pretty? So yeah, I can't resist these. Sometimes they're overpriced, but... Usually they're not, not at the Goodwill. I, I see them at flea markets too sometimes. They're a little overpriced there. I love that. Another interesting item, I don't know why I got it. I just thought it was so cool. It is from the Oster, I hope I'm saying that right, from the blender, Oster, Osterite. And it's made by them too. So you blend it and then you store it in here. And it's even got it measured. And I just couldn't resist this little jar. I thought it was a great little place to store my leftover hot sauce or something, which is usually where I make it in the blender, especially my green tomatillo. I make that one in the blender. and There's always some leftover. So anyway, this one was only 99 cents. I got it for a little bit less. I like the way it's actually curved, just like the real blender. Isn't that cool? Yes, I love milk glass. I really do. I can't resist it. So I thought this was just super cute. I liked it. And then back in the day when I was first married, I really was into country decor for my kitchen. So I had, you know, the, the rolling pins with the old fashioned grandmas. And I had a collection of my grandmother's aprons and I couldn't resist anything old in the kitchen. How are you, Jude? So uh, I just, again, I guess I guess hark, harken back to that day. And I bought this little, I guess it's some kind of a spice blender or grinder and it was a dollar to 199 so I got it for about 125 or so and you just put it in there and I'm not going to use it I'm sure but <laughs> I just can't resist this old country stuff I just love it I used to subscribe to country kitchen and all those magazines and you know all the primitive I studied all the primitive furniture and I just love that I, I have a huge collection of it so that was another thing. What was the other? Oh, another kimono. This is actually a jacket, not a kimono. And this one says hand embroidered on it. It is beautiful fuchsia. See where it says hand embroidered right there? Look at that. Oh, my gosh. I don't think this fits me. This would fit someone who wears probably a petite size. But isn't that amazing? So I know someone will love this on Etsy. It is vintage. And it's just a little bolero, bolero size jacket. Again, from that same day that I went, and they had just really had a whole collection of 
Asian items. Look at the little pockets. They're actually working pockets. Isn't that the cutest? Oh my goodness. If this, if this fit me, you can bet I'd be wearing it with some jeans and heels. Absolutely. But it looks like it would probably fit someone who wears no bigger than a five. Maybe seven. Isn't that cute? Again, this one was probably... Uh, it doesn't say the size. It really doesn't. But just from looking at the shoulders, again, I would say, Rebecca, that it's probably about a five or a seven at the maximum. It has absolutely no size. It's got Asian writing. This is totally authentic. And then it says probably, you know, from, um, probably from Japan, Korea, or somewhere. And it just says hand embroidered is all it says. Isn't it gorgeous? I love this stuff. And I love the simplicity. It's just got like the little blossoms there. You know, the, the color is already so stunning. And then it's just got that beautiful, beautiful embellishment there. I love it. Let me see. I used to wear Asian jackets. Me too. And my sister was in, dude, my sister was in Korea when she... Her first marriage at 19, she moved to Korea for a few years with her military husband, and she sent us some amazing things, kimonos. I sold them. Don't know why, but I did. I had a beautiful white one that she had sent me, and a jacket, gorgeous jackets. And I outgrew a lot of them, too. I was pretty small then, and uh, they were a little bit tighter than they should have been, I guess, later, so I sold them. And, oh, my gosh, just amazing things. And then everything that she would buy, they would package it in that beautiful satin or they put it in a little pouch with that little snap. So cute. Guys, this bag, I've already sold one on Etsy about four years ago. The one I sold on Etsy was bigger. This is some kind of a heavy tapestry. It's really new. Nothing wrong with it at all. I was so hoping they didn't put the price on it, and they didn't. I have it stuffed up right now with some bags. But it's just a plain kind of a, a woven bag. Again, I've told you about the Western motifs, how popular they are wherever you put them, Etsy, eBay, they go. So mine sold on Etsy. I'm going to put this one up there as well. I love this for a weekend bag, for a little travel bag. It's just so cute. These are genuine leather straps, and I was going to show you this in my in my handbag haul but I decided it was kind of big and I had had it in my closet and I keep forgetting to show it to you I've had it probably a month see they wrote the price now on the so I guess this was about seven dollars I don't know I can't even read their numbers I don't even remember they write it now on tape I'm so happy about that yeah it's a good cute little bag I mean it's a perfect little western little weekend bag rather and everybody loves the western motif it's like hand tooled you know, like hand tool leather or something in the cute. Love that. Uh, what else did I get? What else? Oh, I got another cute little mug with pandas and bamboo. And this one was only 99 cents, so it's about 75 cents. Look at that. It's so cute. You need that bag? <laughs> we can talk about it. You know where to email me, thelmahorse at gmail.com. It's a gorgeous bag. I absolutely adore it. And I love weekend bags. I'm still using that huge pink bag. I've been using it all month at work. My laptop, my laptop fits in there. Everything fits in there. My lunch, everything. It's fabulous. And I don't have to zip it if I don't want to. The big bags are so important, guys, right? But I'm going to switch over probably to a small messenger later. But I do love this little mug. So cute. And then, remember, we are talking about Ed Hardy, but I kept calling him John Hardy. I get the two mixed up all the time. Well, I found this fabulous scarf that I know somebody's going to die for over on eBay. I think it's just super, super cool. And it's got the cross motif with his signature on it. I think this was $2. I think she let me have this one for $2. And uh, there's the label there, guys. This was a popular brand a few years ago, but it's definitely got a cult following. People love that tattoo art. And I like the stripes, too. I think it's really cool. And it's pretty new. I mean, it feels really crisp. I think it's cute. I love big scarves, too. I love layering with scarves. I have an Ed Hardy that's like a sheer silk, and it's got all his motifs on it. And it's even got skulls. And I don't particularly like skulls. But it's so blended up, kind of a collage style, that you can't even see the skull. So that was cool. 
All right, then I got a little thing of thank you cards. They're blank, they're a cute pup, they have the flag. I think they're great to send out with my purchases this, this coming season, June and July. It's got a little 4th of July feel to it. Oh, his tennis shoes. Yeah, I think I have seen those too. Didn't he do a co uh, collaboration with Vans or something? I'm not sure. I thought he did. And then I got some shorts because I need shorts. I gave away all my shorts. <laughs> I gave away all my shorts at the last purge for some reason. I think they were also getting tight on me. I just got to lose weight, guys. I am starting to really get serious about my eating habits late at night. They've got to stop. They have got to stop. So that's what I'm thinking about. Okay, I got these. These are size 16. I do not wear a 16 at all, but I think they're really comfortable. <laughs> I still wear like a 10 to 12, but sometimes these with the bands, they, they just bind, and I really just want to put something on after work, you know, just for the house. Put something on after work and not think about it, not have to unbutton it when I'm sitting down. I believe, is that on my haul? Let me check it out. Yeah, I believe that's my haul, guys. It was a small one, but I wanted to bring it to you so that I can clear it out of here and list a few things. I need to get those mugs uh, listed. I will probably bring you another little haul before my live auction today at 5.30 p.m. over on Facebook. I'll probably bring you a little jewelry haul because I've received a few things in the mail, and I picked up quite a wonderful array of items over at the Goodwill. So I'll probably put that one. I'm not sure we may go face to face because some of them, yeah, some of them are pretty big. You'll be able to see them. Oh, I did test the necklace, guys. I'm going to show you this up and close as well. It was 14 karat, but I'm rethinking the blue one. I think the blue one is not lapis. I actually think it is sapphire. So I'm going to probably separate them all and just keep one and sell the rest. They're really pretty. The peridot is gorgeous and so is the uh, the orangey topaz color. Those are probably the ones I'm leaning towards the topaz and the blue one, but I already have a blue sapphire, so I'm going to sell the blue one as well. All right, so guys, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. It was fun. Yes, it's uh, you have to go to, Rebecca, if you want to be a part of the auction, go to my Facebook page that's linked in this video and all my videos, and that one's called Top Shelf, and you just have to like that page, and then I'll generate an email because it's a private group i'll generate and not an email like well i guess it's an email like an invitation but you have to go to this top shelf exchange which is my public page like it and then i'll send you an invitation to the other one and i have the the jewelry auctions over there every saturday at 5 30 p.m thanks guys so much bye glenn thank you for being here and i'll see y'all soon